you're sitting on the computer drinking your Diet Mountain Dew when you see a video of mine and you think to yourself, wow, Katana is so cool. I wish I could be like him. Well, today, I'm going to teach you a trick that will make you almost as cool as me. This trick I like to call the Matrix. Actually, that's the real name of it. I just like to call it that. All right, so this is a really important building block trick. And here's what you're going to need. What you're going to need to do the Matrix is not one, but two Miyachis. Yep. All right, I like to have identical Miyachis when doing the Matrix. But you don't need fancy or identical or super broken in Miyachis. For example, I'm going to do it with two of my stiffest Miyachis right now. The Wavy Gravy and the Pea Crush. Maybe you do. Alright, whatever. <laughs> um, so yeah, and you're also going to need hands, but you know, if you don't, you know, you can still try. Might be a little hard, you know, try it on your wrist or something. Whatever. Hey guys, Katana here. So, today I'm going to teach you the matrix, alright? So, we're going to do the first move you're going to want to know is the vert draw. Looks like this. Sweet move. Fun one. Alright, make sure you know that on both hands. Looks like this. Do a vert. And then draw. And catch it on the same hand. Then you're going to need to know the ninja. And it'll also help if you know, actually that's not ninja though, just so you know, it's a word catch technically. So learn that on both hands. Anyway, it'll also help if you know the stutter, and if you know two miyachi juggle or two miyachi, god, I just juggle, not like that, more. It'll help even if you can just get three catches in that. All right. So, once you got that down, then key thing is practice a ton because this move, even once you get it pretty consistently, you still need to keep practicing it or you'll eventually lose it. So, practice this move a bunch, and it's the coolest move in Miyachi, in one of my opinions. I mean, bleh. it's the coolest move in Miyachi, or one of the coolest, in my opinion. And it's just an awesome feeling trick to learn. So, definitely try to get this trick. No matter how long it takes you. Alright, so, do this move. You're going to get one hand going in a vert here. The other is going to stay on the bottom and toss the miyachi up. The other is going to do a vert drop. So that it looks like that. Not like that. Like that. Alright, so here's where you want the Miyachi's positioned. You're going to have one on your fingertips here, and the other more on the back of your hand. Eventually, you're gonna, you can do it without having them like this, but this will help a lot. So, do that. You could even do, if you have a wide board and a long board Miyachi, like see, I have a wide board here. This JDM, sort of long boarded, not really. That'll help too. So that they'll differentiate between them, differentiate, whatever, anyway, and that makes the move easier a bit, but you don't need it, you might as well just learn it with two identical, or just any kind of match, just learn it, alright, so, put that here, really take it to the extreme when you're first learning this move, and you're going to get a nice, just get a really good feeling for that vert, do a vert a couple of times, and then you're going to drop it. Alright, so just drop it there. Then you're going to switch them like that. And this happens really fast, so just watch the Miyachis. Exaggerate it so that you can really see the motions that are going on here. So then you'll be able to catch that Miyachi a little bit smoother. If you do it like this, if you do it like this, or like really tight together like that, then it's not going to work, especially on your first turn, if you're trying to do it like that. It's a little too, happens a little too fast, so just do it nice and slow like that. 
All right. So, to be honest, that's about all the tips I can give you. What I'm going to say is you need to exaggerate, okay? You need to make it nice and slow. All right, you need to practice a lot. Um, and you should know how to do it on both hands. All right, so learn those moves. I said in the beginning, if you already have, then just practice up. And hopefully you'll be able to get the Matrix. Thanks, guys.